Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Superior Livestock Consigner and customer Pete Bonds. Pete, it's always a pleasure to have you on Sunrise. It's hard to get you on here because I know you're busy and always traveling around. But let's dive right into it. I mean, you guys have a multifaceted operation. You ranch all over the United States in several different territories. But talk about how you got started with Superior and the different kind of cattle you run in the different kind of country you run in. Well, we uh, we started with Superior just right when they started. In fact, our buyer number is one. Uh, <laughs> So I guess I was either the first up at the bar or, <laughs> or anyway, I don't know how I ever got that. But uh, we've been with Superior and it's a great company and great concept. I just wish I'd have thought about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous organization and, and really like what they do. Well, you have a great relationship with your rep from Superior as well. Talk about how they play a big role in what you guys do. Well, your rep is real to me, real key. You know, he's got to have a real good reputation, and I've known Ronnie McNutt for God since there's dirt. Uh, we uh, we go back a long way, and and he's a great guy. And the thing about it is, he's always when it, it comes to delivery time, he's not for the buyer and he's not for the seller. He's just there to do it right. Mm -hmm. And that's so important because, like I said. You ranch cattle all over the United States. So before we came on, you and I were talking about how, you know, an Angus cow is not going to work from Montana down here in Texas. I know your main operation is here in Texas, but talk about how you buy cattle that go to the different locations. Well, we buy cattle uh, really all over the United States. Uh, you know, we'll buy them as far as ways as Idaho and far southeast is... Uh, uh, or northeast, I guess, would be uh, uh, West Virginia. Southeast would be Florida, and, and then uh, southwest would be Arizona. And there's good cattle in every every region. There's just there's different cattle, and you need to send cattle to an area that where they're going to flourish and do well. You really have to kind of match your cow for your country, and then you can change up and improve the calf with the bull. But even there, in some places, you're limited. Because, you know, you take a, a bull from, a good Angus bull from Helena, Montana, and send him to Raymondville, Texas, he's going to die. It's going to be and hard to same make way, it. if you take a crossbred bull from, from Raymondville, Texas, and send him to Helena, Montana, he's going to freeze to death in the winter. And so you've just got to, to match your cattle to your country. Well, this has been a family operation for you guys. I know April was in here not that long ago working mm -hmm. with me on kind of like a montage for you, per se, for the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame, which you just got inducted to. But I don't want to get these wrong. Let me read off the list of awards that you've just okay. received most <laughs> recently. The WA Bill King Award for Excellence in Agriculture, also the Fort Proctor Award in Midland. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, you got inducted into the Cowboy Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame in the Cowboy Hall of Fame right over here. I mean, these are great honors. So you're doing something right. They're, I think they're just running out of people. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they're tremendous honors and just, uh, we're really we're really blessed and really pleased it it makes me a little nervous though most of the time when you get these kind of great honors it's toward your twilight of your career and twilight of my career is going to be when I die and I hope these some bucks don't know something I don't <laughs> well I know they I bet they don't and you're right you're not going anywhere Pete. we're going to see you in this business for quite some time as well as your girls and your family who are heavily involved so i want to thank you for joining me on this morning on superior sunrise we come back we're going to get a little introduction into what's coming up on the american rancher and then visit with world champion auctioneer ralph wade don't go anywhere